question, can the BLUE protocol distinguish between ARDS and hemodynamic pulmonary edema? And the answer is usually possible. Hemodynamic edema, usually 97% of cases, generates the B profile. And this B profile is seen in our observations in only 14% of our ARDS patients. And the 86 remaining percent are shared between the four profiles that are in the blue protocol characteristic to pneumonia. That is the B prime profile, interstitial syndromes, abolition and sliding, is typical from ARDS, not hemodynamic edema. The C profile, even if you have very small lung consolidation, even when you have a just thickened plural line is highly suggestive of ARDS and not hemodynamic edema. The AB profile, that is A profile at one lung, B profile at another lung, but it can be also extended to some spared areas at one lung, that is not a complete homogeneous interstitial syndrome, is also highly suggestive. And what we call the AV claps profile, that is a profile, no venous thrombosis, of course, and posterior lung consolidations or pleural fusions are seen in IRDS in some occasions, but never in acute hemodynamic edema, at the climax of edema, of course. So we have the tool blue protocol for answering usually to the question, but you can also extend the blue protocol, that is, see the heart. We never spoke of the heart, it is time or never to look. How does it look like? How does it work? And if we have this pleural effusion, we can analyze the fluid by making safe tap, precisely because we have the visual medicine. So we have usually several ways, not to speak with the anamnesis, the clinical history, to make the distinction. We open the parenthesis, it is, in the real life, sometimes intricated. Sometimes you have permeability induced plus hemodynamic edema. So sometimes it can be really challenging. We are completely open to this uh, challenge, precisely.